hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in today's video i will be showing you guys how to season oxtail so i'll be showing you how to prep it in terms of washing it and preparing it for seasoning and i will be showing you guys the types of seasoning that i use to season my oxtail so without further ado stick and stay for this video while I show you what I do in seasoning up my oxtail. So first, you're gonna wanna wash your oxtail before you do anything to it. So this is the oxtail, and this is what it looks like. And I will be using white vinegar and also a lime to wash my oxtail. If you don't have any lime, that's fine. You can just use the white vinegar by itself and that also will get the job done. So first I'm gonna take my oxtail over to the sink, uh, take it out of the bag and I'm gonna wash it uh, with water and the white vinegar and also the lime. So I'm just gonna give it a rinse just to get off the excess uh, blood, just to drain the excess blood. So that's my rinse. I'm gonna get some lime. Squeeze it on. vinegar gonna pour some on turn it the pipe back on it off pour that water off rinse it again do it another rinse Thank you. 
so now that our oxtail is all washed and uh, prepped and ready for seasoning these are the seasonings that I will be using I will be using a bell pepper a red bell pepper or sweet pepper as we call it in Jamaica so I'd be using the red and the green sweet pepper uh, onion scallion or green onions as some people call it some dried thyme some dried rosemary and for powder seasoning i will be using some ginger powder some paprika some garlic powder onion powder and also some uh, soup base uh, browning so the grace browning i will be using some grace browning this is my green seasoning mix so it's a combination of uh, herbs and uh, well I just say herbs because it's no um, powder seasoning in it so it's like uh, garlic onion scallion ginger like the natural herbs uh, that's what's in this mix here and this is my mixed spice so this is a combination of spices that I grind up so I will be using uh, about a teaspoon of that in the marinade for the oxtail and here we have our Caribbean spice and roasted garlic some jerk seasoning some whole pepper and also some garlic cloves so I will be using all of this to season my oxtail so come along as i continue with the next step in preparing and seasoning your oxtail so i will be cutting up my uh, seasoning to put in the oxtail so this is my scotch bunny pepper and as I said before, you can choose whatever hot pepper you would like. Some onion.
all of this to the ox seal. So now I'm gonna be adding the powder seasoning. So this is my paprika. And guys, let me do a measurement for you guys so you can have a better understanding of how much exactly I'm putting in. Because I know sometimes um, people will ask in the comment section like how much seasoning you know should I put and all that thing we Jamaicans typically <laughs> tend to don't measure we we normally just go by eyesight you know we as we say we would eyeball it so I'd say put for this much ox scale I'd say put about two tablespoons of paprika garlic powder same thing two tablespoons of garlic powder Onion powder, two, two, two tablespoons. Jerk seasoning, two tablespoons. Just keep it nice and neutral. Keep the measurement simple. Two tablespoons. Caribbean spice, same thing, two tablespoons. Ground ginger, I'd say put one tablespoon of ground ginger because ginger can be very overpowering if you're not careful with it. And then for my mixed spice, and this is a combination of different spices like uh, pimento, uh, cinnamon sticks, you know, etc. etc. I use this mixed spice. I use it for baking and I also use it for my uh, gaming meat and it really gives it a, a nice flavor. So for this I'd say use just one teaspoon. And if you guys would like to know how I make my uh, mixed spice just uh, put a comment down below and uh, let me know and I'll do a video uh, to show you guys how I make my mixed spice guys this spice is a all-you-need spice whether it be for baking and as I said it's good for help marinade in your chicken like your gaming meat or your uh, mostly hard meats, so your cow foot, your curry goat, your oxtail, stuff like that. It's really good. So I'm going to put some whole 
black pepper seeds. And so this is my green seasoning. So for my green seasoning, I'm gonna be putting uh, three tablespoons. And also for uh, this one as well, you guys, if you wanna see how I make my green seasoning, uh, just leave me a comment down below and I'll do a video as well to show you guys how I do my uh, seasoning mix. So it's a combination of herbs and rooted herbs and um, yeah, it's pretty good. You can use it on any kind of meat. So I do a blend and I keep it in the fridge and it's really, really good. So I'm gonna add some soup based seasoning as well. This I really like because it re has a really nice flavor. So I'm gonna add about three teaspoons of this. Sorry, three tablespoons. Then we're gonna stir it up a bit. So get your hands in there, you guys. Mix it together, combine everything together. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of browning. Not too much, because depending on how dark your browning is, you don't want to add too much. So I'm going to be adding some grace browning. Okay, get your hands in. Get your hands in there. Mix it around. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty and get it in the meat. So you get your hands in to distribute the seasonings so it can coat all the meat. And you can do it as many times as you wish, just to make sure that all the meats are coated. And so that all the seasoning can get in it. Because I'm gonna leave this to marinate overnight and I'll be cooking it tomorrow. So I wanna make sure that everything is well coated and nice. So basically you guys, this is how you season your oxtail. So this oxtail is gonna stay in the fridge overnight. It's gonna marinate overnight and then tomorrow when I cook it, I'll come back. 
so yes you guys so this oxtail is well seasoned and so I'm going to be putting it up in the fridge in a seal uh, container for it to marinate overnight and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and uh, show you how I cook it but as for the preparation and the seasoning of your oxtail I will end this video here so I hope you enjoy this video I hope I hope you learned something from this video and if you did please let me know in the comment section down below and also if you are interested in seeing how I make my green seasoning which is my uh, rooted herbs that I mix that I blend and store in the fridge for whenever I'm uh, doing my meats please leave me a comment down below to let me know that you would like me to do a video to show you guys how I do that and also for my mixed spice uh, that I also incorporated into this seasoning uh, if you are interested in seeing how I do it also please let me know down below in the comment section so if you want to know how I do the green herb uh, mix let me know that and if you want to see how I do my mixed spice please let me know that and I'll be sure to do a video for you guys so don't forget to like this video you guys share comment down below and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, you guys. Bye.